Hey everybody, welcome back to Little Rocky Top Homestead. Today, I'm bringing you out here with me because I'm actually going to collect some uh, seeds for savings. So out here, you can see most of my uh, beans have dried up. Halfway on purpose, halfway not. So it actually was not my intention for this many to dry up, but um, once they all started getting really puffy back here because of that heat we had, we had some really intense heat and it just kind of did them in. I am getting some younger ones still, which is great. So I'm not getting as many green beans as I was before because I let a lot of them go to seed because I'm just going to save them. This is, is my favorite green beans to grow. I definitely wanted to save back seeds so I don't have to keep buying them. And I don't have to worry about any cross-pollination with these because these are the only beans I planted this year um, in this area. So some of these are still soft. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. Yeah. So these are not all the way dried out yet. But some of these are hard and crispy and those are the ones that I want to get. Okay, so I've actually collected quite a few here that I will be saving seeds out of. Obviously, I don't need to have this many seeds myself, but um, me and my best friends are saving seeds for each other out of our things. So um, this is something that I can contribute to. <laughs> um, I'm also saving seeds from my strawberry volunteer watermelon. So I'm excited about that. So as you can see, my cucumber plants are basically dead. I've picked a few off. Like, I could probably pick that one. But, um, like, there's, see, there's some that are still growing and being okay. But this one here has gotten massive, and I've just let it go once I noticed it. It's very yellow, very overripe. Um, I'm gonna save seeds out of that one. That's my plan with that. And I'm not sure if I need to pick it right now or if I need to wait a little bit longer and then go about cleaning those seeds and drying them off. But um, I'm very excited. I've never saved cucumber seeds before. I have saved these seeds before and uh, given them to people when they've grown them. So that's cool. Look at here. Isn't that cute? <laughs> <laughs> Wish this was still living, but it's it's pretty much done. It's pretty much a goner. I said I'm getting some here and there. Just let me know. Blushing. I would like to leave it, um, but I do think I'm gonna pick it just so nothing gets it. There we go. So I've actually looked at all these tomatoes and they're all rotten because the plant's obviously laying on the ground. Here is what my garden is looking like since I ripped out all those tomato plants and the fact that my row has disintegrated. <laughs> um, but you can see here, I, ha I did have a bean plant growing and it might come back, but the, the cherry, or not cherry, sorry, the spoon tomato was here and it was taking all this over. And something has came and ate all the leaves off of this melon. But Avizinia has bloomed and so beautiful. I really like yellow. <laughs> I have a few more beans here. A few more beans growing right back there, red swan bush beans. Then here is dragon tongue bush beans. They've just started blooming. So now I'm gonna head inside and uh, shuck my beans. <laughs> to go back out to my garden and pick more <laughs> because 
I've decided I'm gonna bring these to the farmer's market on Saturday and sell them. So, of course, I'll save myself some back and save some for my best friends. But um, I do believe I, sh I will be selling some of these. So, I'm gonna go pick a ton more <laughs> and uh, do that. Let me show you my watermelon seeds though. Before right here are my watermelon seeds that um, I saved out of our strawberry volunteer watermelon. And, uh, that's what they look like. I think I did these ones wrong, like the not the proper way. But um, I'm gonna try to keep them anyways and see how, how it does and plant them next year. These ones I know are good because I've done these before. I just let them dry out on the vine and then uh, shell them and they're totally dry. There's no moisture in there at all. Okay, so I've got all of my beans shelled to the best of my ability. Um, right here, uh, Casey did shell some over there and made a chicken coop, her words, with that butter. Those seeds will not be included in this because she did put some of those in her mouth. So those are her seeds. <laughs> but I got all these shelled, I put them in a container and I weighed them. So this sure. right here is what we're looking at. I mean, I would say that's, that's about a half a container. Let's see if you can see through. Yeah, it's about a half. And, uh, I had, uh, teared it, so, there we go, looky there. Okay, I decided to step outside to finish this off, because cartoons, um, anyways, so, Got like three ounces, just over three ounces of seeds from my beans. Um, that's exciting. I plan on putting about 25 seeds per packet, which I looked at my original seed packets for that type of bean. And it says that that's their minimum that they do is 25 seeds per packet. So I'm just gonna try to keep that pretty even, pretty accurate that way, instead of just guessing and just throwing a, a handful in each one. Um, but I'm stoked about that. I think that's cool. That's a lot of seeds I got out of that. And I did get a lot of beans this year too. So I got a lot of produce from those bean plants. And then I also got seeds, a lot of them. So, and I still have beans out there that just are not dry all the way yet. So I'll have even more seeds to come. That's so much fun. Um, I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to package my watermelon seeds if they're dry all the way. I'll have to check on them. They seem pretty dry, but I'm just not sure. Oops, sorry. I'm just not sure if they're quite ready. Um, but yeah, so seed saving. That's cool. That's saving some money. Because <laughs> uh, I love those beans. And those, to buy them brand new from Baker Creek, which is where I get them, it's $4 a packet. So... saving a good little chunk of change there and um honestly i think that's probably gonna be it for this video just another short one my weeks have been pretty busy hectic lately and so i'm just trying to keep you guys updated um the best i can so sorry last week's last week monday's video was like five minutes long this one probably gonna be similar i don't know depends how how long i've rambled in this but, uh, alright, well, I'm gonna let you go, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!